Welcome. In this video, we'll learn how to set up open NDS package to use an external captive portal. We are going to be using a router which is flashed with the open WRT firmware uh, for this video. First, we are going to create some firewall rules because once we enable the open NDS package, the router's access would become restricted to us and we won't be able to access it. Therefore, we are going to add a couple of firewall rules. The first rule is that we are going to enable web access from the WAN site. So the source zone is going to be van and the destination zone is going to be device and destination port will be 80. Similarly we are going to add a rule for SSH and uh, uh, in that case the, uh, the destination port is going to be TCP port 22. Once that is done we are going to save and apply the settings and then we are going to access the device through the command line. First, we will update the packages. After that, we will install the OpenNDS package along with the nano text editor. Then we are going to install PHP and some PHP extensions that are required for OpenNDS to work. Once that is done, we are going to go to the OpenNDS config file and we are going to configure a few parameters according to how our captive portal is hosted. The first is that we are going to set the port and in our case we are going to set the port to 443. Then we are going to set the fully qualified domain name for our captive portal. After that we are going to enter the IP address of the captive portal server. Uh, the fast key parameter that you can see on the screen is basically a security key that is used between the open NDS package and the captive portal. So this key needs to match on both sides, otherwise the communication will not work. Once we save the config file, a key will be auto-generated. Then we are going to update it. The last option that we are going to set is the fast secure enabled option. And in this we are going to select number 3. Now we are going to save the file and then we are going to restart the open NDS service. If we try to check the status of open NDS using NDS CTL command, you can see that we are getting an error at the moment. So we are going to uh, again go to the config file and we can see that at the very end, uh, the fast key parameter has been auto-generated. So we are going to set the key which we have on the portal side. After that we are going to save it and then we can see that open NDS is now working successfully. It's showing the status of the package and we can verify all the configurations from here. The code for the captive portal is given here. You can incorporate this bit of code inside your captive portal and based on that you can create your customized user engagement flow. That's it for now. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks and have a nice day.